Hello again and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to make this cute mini album. The leaves of the album are made from a single 12x12 piece of cardstock and it's cut and folded in a way to create a lot of pockets in which you can put tags, journaling spots and photo mats. So we're going to start with a single piece of 12x12 cardstock and we're just going to fold it in half across the centre making sure that the folds are accurate. I'm just going to reinforce the fold with a bone folder and then I'm opening it up again and I'm taking the outside to the middle and making another fold. Now of course you can use a scoring board for this if you wish. I find they're not quite as accurate as the paper's never really cut to 12 by 12 exactly. And I find this way you end up with more equal folds. So now we're going to turn the 12 by 12 piece round and we're going to repeat the process and each time I'm just reinforcing the folds with the bone folder. It's important to ensure that your folds are accurate or else when you put the book together it's not going to look right. The next thing we're going to do is take a steel rule and a craft knife and we're going to cut all the way along this line from the first square down. And it's easy just to move the steel rule into the corner of the fold and then make a cut. So you can see we've cut three of the squares and I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just positioning the rule into the fold pull down to cut. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same down the centre line. Again using the crease to position the ruler. And so we end up with our pieces of paper cut into a W shape. As you can see this is double sided card and I want the brown side to show. So I'm turning it over so that the piece I want to show is on the outside and it's in the shape of an M. Then I'm going to start folding up and concertina in the folds all the way along. It 
it's important when you're doing this that you make sure that your folds are square because if for any reason they're not then your album won't look neat at all. The next thing to do is decide which is the top and bottom and as you can see the centre fold is a peak and all the rest of them are like a zigzag which means they'll allow us to put um, a pocket in. This one won't and as there's only one I'm going to use this as the top. So I'm just going to simply put an arrow there so I can see which is top and which is bottom. So this is going to be the front cover and this is going to be the back. Now we need to look at how these are going to be glued into pockets. So again taking my pen I'm just going to work out how I need to put double sided tape and I'm just going to mark the back where the tape will go. So if it's, that's taped there then that will make a pocket. This next one the tape is going to have to go there. So when it's taped together there'll be a pocket at the top. This one again as before is going to be there. Now this centre one, I'm going to make a side opening pocket, so I'm just going to place tape there and keep checking which way is up and which pieces we've already marked as having tape on it. So again, this will need tape along there. And I'm not too worried about marking it like this because obviously this is where the tape's going to go and it won't be seen. So the final pocket will need tape along there. And I find the easiest way to apply the tape is just to allow it to open up again. To lay it flat on the table and just put tape where it's needed. So I'm going to do that off camera and we'll come back when I'm ready to get the tape off and the pieces stuck together. So that's all the double sided tape in position. I'm just going to quickly burnish it to make sure it's fully stuck. And piece by piece I'm going to start with this. Just take the backing off the tape. And carefully fold it into place. And now we should be able to see all our pages and that's the centre one and we've got pockets in all of them. Next I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope board and I'm lining the pages up with the pockets at the top at the one and a half inch mark. I'm 
doing that so we can have a little recess where we can grab our photo mats or tags. Doing that on each one. Of course, the centre one you will need to do sideways. Just try to make sure that you don't do the front and back covers as well. Taking some distress ink in Vintage Photo and I'm just distressing the edges of the papers. Distress these as much or as little as you want. You don't need to ink them if you don't want to. It's just I feel it gives an added dimension. So now we have our basic mini album and you can decorate this in any way that you want. I'm going to decorate mine with scrapbooking papers and to do that I'm using a selection of 6x6 papers and you're going to need at least four of these. I'm going to cut them down to a size of 7cm by 7cm. As this is a three inch by three inch mini album. The page sizes are about seven and a half centimeters by seven and a half centimeters. With some of the papers, it doesn't matter too much how you cut them, as long as you cut them to the right size. With others, it's important to remember how you cut them. Depends on how they appear on the page. So these particular papers, I want that part and that part. So I'm going to cut it there at seven centimeters. And then I'm going to turn it around and cut it there at seven centimeters. So I still have the design that can go across a two page spread. So the next job is to decide which way around in the book they're going to go. And I think I'm going to start with this one. And I want to have the rows on that side and that piece there. So because 
it would cover the overlap. I'm going to take my envelope punch and line it up at the three and a half centimetre mark. It's quite difficult to see because the centimetres are just embossed in the base of the board here, whereas the inches are printed on the top. So that will fit nicely there with a little border around. Next two pieces again have got a cutout at the top. So just looking at which ones I want to use and I think I'll use those two. And again, I'm going to cut it out with my paper mat at the three and a half centimetres. And the next page, that's the same. And I think I'm going to put these two pieces in with the embellishments along the side. So once again, at the three and a half centimetre mark. The next page is slightly different. You do have to remember this. You've got one where the pocket is at the top and one at the side. So I'm going to use these papers for this one. Again, marking it up at the three and a half centimetre mark. The next page is the opposite. So this one is the side facing page. And this one has the top opening. And I think I'm going to use these two papers. It's important if there is a design that has a top and a bottom that you remember to turn it round to cut it with the opening in the correct place for the pocket. Because these sheets are on white paper, I am going to lightly ink around the edge with Distress Ink. I don't want to distress it too much, I just want to disguise the white edges of the papers. I've decided to further embellish some of the papers with these stamps from Stamperia or Stamperia and I'm using Stays On Ink and I'm just selecting which papers that I want to actually stamp on. So now it's time to actually attach the papers into the mini album. I'm just going to use the tape runner. And I'm doing this on a piece of scrap paper because 
quite clumsy when it comes to tape runners and I quite often go over the end of the paper. And just carefully put them into position on the book and press them in place. The next thing we need to do is to make some covers. I'm going to measure these out at three and a half inch by three and a quarter. And I've chosen two 6x6 papers to act as the cover paper. Just trimming off the excess. I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut on the diagonal about two millimeters away from the corner. This means when we come to fold the corner that we don't leave any exposed cardboard. And again I'm just using the tape runner around the edges of the cardboard and using the board itself to form a crease around the edges. You can use a bone folder for this if you prefer. And I'm just going to nip in the overlap on the corners just to make that neater. And there we have our covers. It's important to make sure that the longest side is the top and the bottom of the shortest side to the sides. I'm just going to check that against the book to make sure that it looks okay and it does. So I'm going to fasten this to the book using some of this red tape. So when we've got tape on both the front and back cover, it's just a matter of removing the red backing from the tape. And we know that because of the arrow that that's the front and that side is up. I'm just going to 
place it equally. down the cover. I'm going to repeat that for the back. I'm just kind of doing this by eye. The only thing really to do now is to cover the spine with something and I've taken another piece of card and it measures three and a half inch by approximately seven centimeters. I'm just going to shape this using something round. In this case I'm using a paintbrush. I'm just using a length of tape down each end. Just carefully lining it up before I press the tape on because this red tape is permanent and you only do get one shot at it. So that's our finished book. The only thing that remains to do now is to make the inserts or tags to go in the pockets. Because of the way some of these pockets were formed were different to others, we'll need different size tags to go in those. So to start with, I'm going to cut two at seven centimeters by five centimeters. and five at six centimetres by six centimetres. I know I keep switching between centimetres and inches on this project. This is because of the sizes of the original paper packs. Some are measured in inches and some in centimetres. And I grew up using both metric and imperial, so I apologize for any confusion. I'm using a large corner cutter to round off the corners of the photo mats or journaling spots. On a couple of the mats, I'm going to stamp an image with stays on, just to decorate it a little. Of course, you can decorate your mini album in whatever style you want. And then it's just a matter of slipping the right ones into the pockets. And there we have our completed mini journal and you can carry on decorating this as much as you like. I'm going to add some further embellishments to this one and I'm going to use it as part of a giveaway. So if you would like this, the only rules are that you would need to be in the United Kingdom. All you have to do is just Place a comment below just to say that you would like to receive this and I'll pick one lucky winner at a later date. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. Thanks for watching.